guys and welcome to G'day guys and welcome, let's clean that shall we? G'day guys and welcome back to Terrain. Today we are starting a whole new series which is this patrol here that has blown up because it's a dirty three litre and we are going to put a turbo LS in it. I bought this car originally with the intention of doing an LS conversion. A few things still in the work whether it's an LS 1, 2 or 3 but for now I'm trying to get some things rolling. There's a whole bunch of stuff I need to do to get ready for this conversion. So I thought, what better day than today to get into it. So as you know, I'm also doing the Getz build, which I'm in the middle of, which involves this guy here. Let's turn these on for you. Damn. Which we are slowly getting into. I want to keep working away on this as well. So the plan is to set the patrol up in another location, which is out on the house here. But the things I need to do first is I want to take the brush bars, side steps and bull bar off. I also want to take all the spotties off. There used to be a cage on this with a, with a light bar on it. And here's the cable to the light bar. So my plan at the moment is basically to try and strip everything that's not factory out of this patrol. So when I'm doing this conversion, I'm just dealing with the bare essentials. And also while I'm out, I'm, I'm planning to turbo it. So I wanna put a front mount on it and a whole bunch of other stuff. I wanna be looking for some new guards or just kind of fixing up these ones. I'll probably end up running 37s anyway. So we've got a little bit of tidying up to do. There's a bit of a dent down in here that I'd love to fix up. But this is pretty much the only real bad spot on the car as such. Other than that, she's in pretty good nick. Now I do have a mate who's going to be purchasing the suspension. So I wanna pull the suspension out of it. It has superior non-remote reservoir shocks in it at the moment. It's got a draw system in it as well that I wanna pull out of the back and just a King's one. So I'm gonna get rid of that and, and put something half decent in there. I wanna start attacking the interior, get all the center console and stuff out. I'm also gonna be selling the 17s, which is funny because I wanted these 17s for ages on my old ute. Now I've got them. I kind of don't want them. I want, I want a larger offset. I want to try and run like Neg 22 or even Neg 44s, depending on what the setup I end up doing. For now, we've got to limp this bad girl around back under cover so we can kind of get into it. We'll get it up on jack stands in the coming days. And yeah, but for now, brush bars, center console, side steps, bull bar, cleaning up all the wiring and pulling all that out is on the card. So. But she's in good nick, she's ready to rock. Oh, g'day darling, this is the daily now. There's these little birds perch on it and shit all over it, mongrels. Yeah, check power train, I don't know mate. Old girl didn't like that too much, did she? Eh? This is my backyard, just the slop. Sloppy poo. All right, let's go get a patrol, eh? So I kind of forgot to say, I've had the patrol about six months now and um, always bought it intending to do an engine conversion on it. I did have a 2006 4.2 coil cab GU patrol and then the family grew by one. We've just had our first child. So I wanted to get a wagon so that I can take the family out instead of the ute. I'd had the 4.2 for about nine, 10 years. So I thought time to do something different. Really wanted a uh, series four and I wanted to put the LS in it. Once again, uncertain what LS yet. Uh, still looking around. I've, I'm looking possibly to 2016 SS at the moment uh, to purchase. But we'll just see what comes up and what prices and all that type of stuff as the build continues. I went and picked up this Subaru here. Come into the darkness. 
I went out and picked up this bad boy with Mox a few weeks ago. I was, and we luckily we took the D Max out to go pick it up instead of the Patrol. Uh, the next morning, I took the Subaru off the trailer, connected it up to the Patrol, and was going to take the car trailer back to the hire place, and the Patrol blew up. So then ensued the long uh, mission to get the trailer back to the trailer hire, hire place and then also get the patrol back home. Now it does drive, but it doesn't drive well. Um, I haven't even popped the hood to have a look at it yet just because I've had a whole bunch of other stuff on. So, But as we start pulling out the wiring and uh, doing all that type of stuff, I'll have a look under the engine bay. We'll have a bit of a suss out and um, see if we can work out what happened. We can get out of here, chicken. Go on. Definitely broken. Alright, before we get too far into this, we have a few other things to take care of. We are heading in, so first things first, I'll just empty all these um drawers out, they've got bits and pieces from work and all sorts of stuff. Rip these drawers out. Mate, if you want a pair of King's drawers. Alright, let's get into this. A little, uh, little jug of lactation cookies, mate. Keep the nips going. And stores stuff. <laughs> Bloody brilliant, mate. All right, the drawers are out, which is awesome. Give this carpet a bit of a vacuum and start cleaning it up inside a little bit. And then next job is to start pulling off the. There they are, there, mate. If you want a set of King's drawers, super cheap, mate. Hit me up comments below. But next job, we're going to pull these um, side steps brush bars off and then hopefully Mox is going to come around tomorrow and give me a hand pulling the bar off. So we'll disconnect the lights, disconnect that cable running that was running to the LED light bar at the top, pull the aerial out. Basically I want to lift up the bonnet. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I found inside the car that was done previous to me owning it. Alright, I've just got the uh, brush bars off which is Pretty sweet. Both sides are done. I've left the bull bar on at the moment just because I want to get, like I was saying before, I want to get the um, spotties off. I want to pull all that wiring and the relay and that whole circuit out. It was done pretty dodgy from whoever had it before. It used to have a cage on the top with a light bar, a couple of spotties, and one of the spotties is a bit delayed on coming on and it all kind of hangs off one switch. And so I'm not quite sure what's happening on there. So I'm pretty keen to just pull that right out. I've got a CB inside. I'm going to pull that right out. The aerial on the top, I'm going to pull that out somewhere along the line too the guy that had it before me or before him or i don't know but they put this like plasti dip stuff over the chrome and you can see here like some of the chrome starting to peel off and this black's all gross so i want to clean that up now they've got the brush bars off you can see this guard here has got a this is pretty much the worst dent on the whole thing is just this one side so i might even get a replacement guard on this side yet not quite sure and not overly fussed about that i think it's a two and a half inch dobinson lift in there at the moment keen to just pull that out not a bad effort so far but yeah pretty happy with today's progress just a few hours today get the project started i'm also going to pull this rear bar off it's pretty beat up and i want to get a um, rear swing away for it anyway we'll lift this bonnet and we'll start getting into taking these lights off and the aerial
Well guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to follow this build and a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm doing. In about six weeks time at the end of July, I'm heading to the Ultra 4 Challenge up at Land Cruiser Park. I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of filming there and catching up with a whole bunch of different teams. That is brought to you by Radius Fabrication. If you haven't seen their stuff, make sure you go and check out their page. They do some really cool stuff. Heaps of stuff four-wheel drive related. Anyway, that's it for now. I have started, officially started this journey. So I'm looking pretty hard for a LS at the moment and doing a whole bunch of research. I'm trolling the forums. If you guys have any advice or any thoughts that you want to give in, always happy to hear it. Anyway, thanks guys. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe. Appreciate it. Cheers, bye.